I'm Artista Gamer 7 and I have a new game series that I'm going to be bringing on my channel, which is Tales of Berseria? Berseria? I never really know how to pronounce these right, to be real honest with you half of the time. Um, I'm pretty sure Exalia is one of the only ones that I'm saying right? Maybe, maybe Vesperia. I don't know, but Berseria? Syria, that's how I, how I'm gonna say it. But anyway, I love the Tell series game. So, and I haven't. There's a few of them that I haven't played either at all, and some I haven't played all the way through. But um, Vesperia was the first one I played, which then I went and played. Um, Symphonia, which actually came out before Vesperia, but I didn't get into the game. Vesperia was the first one that got me into it, and then um, Exalia, I beat. I beat those three, and then Exalia two, I started, but I didn't make it very far. And then Tales of Graces, I started and got a decent way through, but I still have never actually beat it. But I want to start this one, so let's go. I also have um, Z Zestiria, which I have not played, but I have it, but I have not played it. But input buffer window short, I guess. Why? Why is it like completely changing? Anyway, um, there we go. Da -da -da. Subtitles on, yeah, let's keep those on. Items is gonna be that. That. Sure. That's fine. Most of the stuff I keep the same. <laughs> TV speaker and wireless. Hey! I think I only want to come from the TV just because my controller is going to be closer to my mic. So I will do that. Okay, so. Yes, let's start the game. Damn it! Here we go! You hide here, Velvet. I'm going back to help Celica. I'm so scared. Arthur, please. <laughs> You'll be just fine with these. Celica enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will? Sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? I'll come back for you once Celica is safe. It's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Lottie's older sister, and you're a student.
On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. Fluffy, time to wake up. Uh, okay. Morning! I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the cave. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself then. Bring down a few cripple boars, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. Look at controls. I'm slightly confused. I will admit. Because... I thought the person that has like the arm thing and maybe Velvet was going to be the same person, but it doesn't appear to be. I'm a little confused. So okay. Um, this character confirm cancel start skit open map area current objective okay. Village of Longing. Alright, so what is this? Oh, I can fly. What is this? I got your lovely seashell. Many books, line Arthur shelves. Okay, I don't nope, no. I didn't mean to look at that again. I guess we're going out. Minimap showing your current surroundings is displayed in the upper left screen. You can use it to check your locations of your your lo next objective, shops, and more. Press the square button to display the area map. Unlike the mini map, which only displays your current surroundings, the area map shows the entire region you are currently in. I don't know if that's the. If I'm on the hunt for prickle boars. I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This is for Luffy's medicine, so I can't mess this up. I feel like this is different. Slightly different from the other Tales games I've played. Set a grave marker for Arthur and Silica's. Unborn child stands the gravestones of Velvet's parents and her sister, Silica. So, Silica was Velvet's sister. So, Arthur would have been Silica's husband, I'm guessing. And they lost the child. And 
described in detail are the following words. This little life will spread its wings and soar through the skies. Sweet XO. But I am I am perplexed about who the one character is. Come to think of it. Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it. I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Celica taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. Hello, beautiful. <gasps> it's a goodie! Look at a kitty! Well, it's completely true. When I was heading back from the shop, I saw Leficent talking to someone. But he was all alone. Isn't that right, Ophelia? Meow. <laughs> Laffy talking to the. Was Laffy talking to Sir Cerise? What was he doing at the store alone? This one's got an exclamation mark above me. <sighs> Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those things. It's a nightmare. Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, demons. They gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell. Come to think of it, Celica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. I should probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare. But like Arthur always says, battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. Are those bunny pigs? Funny pigs. So is that a store over there? Hello. Hey Bubba, if you need hunting supplies, come to me. Not that there's anywhere else to go, mine. Okay. Well, that, there's, that's all I can buy. So, <laughs> what's that? It's a save point. That's what I thought it was. Did I save? Let me save. <laughs> no, I did not save. But, anyway. On to the, my confusion about characters. If I know anything from any of the Tales games that I've played, you get to know a character and you get to know like sort of how they act and what they are and who they mean to the like how they stand in the world and all this stuff and then halfway through the game or even more than halfway through the game everything completely changed like they throw some sort of plot choice like oh you thought this character was this nope <laughs> they're actually this and it's like what Hello. I saw a group of dozens of demons real close to town. If they attack, we're done for. I think we should run now while we can. Run? To where? 
There are demons everywhere in Midgan. We have nothing to worry about. My brother Arthur can protect the ball. Arthur, huh? They say he used to be one of those exorcists who could control Malachim. And only exorcists can defeat demons. Yeah, we've all heard the fairy tales. So have all the swindlers who pose as exorcists. The con honest folk out of their gall. Hey! Arthur isn't like that. If he was a real exorcist, why didn't he protect Celica when the demons attacked? That's because... Lofi and I... we... Besides, Arthur is just an outsider who drifted into our village one day. We don't know anything about his past. Then you must think we're outsiders too. Our parents weren't from here either. Uh, back to business. We need to deal with these demons. You're right. We've got to defend our village ourselves. That's what it comes down to. Save the dreaming about exorcists and Malachim for when we're asleep. Interesting. Ah. So the important conversation has some extra marks, but I need to go to Sunset Bunnies. What? Why? I turn back if you know what's good for you. There's a bunch of demons roaming up ahead. How many? Beats me. The guy who went to check hasn't come back. But if it's a lot, the village is in real trouble. This is no time for a date in Talison. Talison shame. As I would have asked you out myself. But, huh? Sorry, I didn't catch that last part. What'd you say? Um, uh, nothing. Just forget it. This is a bad. Morgania Woods is teeming with demons, and now we can't trade with. Talison. If some something happens to the tranquil woods, the village is good as done for. So, where am I supposed to go? Then I'll go get some boar skin or something. So that we can have money for medicine for Laffy. What is this thing? What are you? Hello. Out for a walk, Velvet? As if. I'm off to go hunting in the woods, but I have a few errands to run first. Did you hear that demons in Mor Morgania Woods are multiplying? This is serious. Where are we supposed to run to now? Are you sure that's true? Seems to be. Word has it that they've even got a few of the townsfolk. You be careful out there, alright? Thanks, I will. I can't very well leave Laffy to fend for himself, can I? Okay. So, is there other th stuff I'm supposed to be doing? Oh, wait, there's an exclamation mark. There's two exclamation marks, actually. There's one here. The demon blight is a punishment sent to us by the Empyreans for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Empyreans? The four Empyreans created the world. The one Empyrean shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When contradiction permeates this world, the time of suppression will be upon us. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! All right then. It's you, Velvet. If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know. I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, aren't you? I'm 16. Oh, what's that? Can I open this? Cool. Okay, there was another exclamation mark, though. Over this way. Right there. Child. Hey, Velvet. Is Lapiset feeling better? No, not yet. Favorite. He needs a little more rest. I think. Aw, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got it. 
Lafayette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back, like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit, but still, that sounds terrible. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Selica raised me and Lafi all by herself. So now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. Okay. Doggy. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Maybe this way is technically the way I'm supposed to go. Not really sure. Autumn colored forest. This area looks promising. Okay. Out. Battle tutorial. Combo attacks can be performed based on the number of souls each character currently possesses. Use any combination of circle, tri triangle, X, and square to perform a three hit combo. By stunning, defeating, or inflicting status elements upon enemies, you can get souls, allowing you, allowing for more combos. Okay. Stun an enemy to get a soul. She had a sword. I didn't notice that. Really like one of those thingies that's in the arm, but still, a blade of any type. I didn't know she had any of those. Trickle more meat. Still, na, 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 na. Yeah, that's how it's done. So I guess the stars are where there's some uh trickle more. Which means there should be some this way? This one! Battle tutorial! Arts use up soul gauge. When SG drops to zero, you can still attack. But you will be knocked back if you try to spin. Use L1 to defend. And there's a chest. So that's nice. Apple gel. Oh. The cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our prickle bore meat now. Luffy and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinkle boars? Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about Pigglebore? Yeah, Pigglebore! That's a cute name. Maybe too cute, though. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna save. Yes. Save! Okay. Saving is complete. Where am I going? Wait. This almost looks like the scene where Silica may have died. Right, here goes! Not bad. This should be enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. <sighs> this place isn't safe. That hole's gotten bigger. I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence, but they keep saying it's forbidden land. Even Selica used to scare me with it. She was always, this is a gateway to the underworld. Well, I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. That does look really scary, though. Yeah, well, let's go. So, I guess we gotta go back to the store and try to sell it to that dude. Hey, wait, there's more. Can I get more just to see how I'm going? Away? They're not tutorials, they're actually trying to fight me. Is that all? Is that all? Okay. Let's go. Hello? Not bad. Okay. Oh, what's this? All right. Whoa! Right, I should have a, no a lot of meat at this point, right? Oh. Wait, the boars I hunted, are you there? They ain't happy. Maxim three, never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. They ain't happy. Hidden arts focus on damage and attack range, but use more of your uh, soul gauge than martial arts. Searing edge is effective against beasts. Gain the advantage by exploiting your enemy's weak points. Select arts from the battle menu and set searing age to Here 
first time I've seen her use her blade to wiggle the staring edge now. Exorcist art. Pride and anxiety. Pity for the enemy. Thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. Oh. Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got it. Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should no, be enough don't. to buy Lafayette's medicine. I'll drop the pricker boars off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Do you think- I could become an exorcist? Why is it you think that birds fly? Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. On the right way. <laughs> I wonder if those prickle boars were brothers. Maybe I should have let them go. But then, how would I pay for Lafayette's medicine? Hunting took care of that. And it means food for us as well. I had no other choice. It was a rational decision. But the fact that I'm still worrying about it shows that my feelings are getting the better of me. Yeah, if you're gonna hunt, you can't really have emotions about it. Anyway, so where do I go now? What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go to the star? There's a star in the main map. Okay, never mind. Something happened anyway. Here for groceries? Yep. And <laughs> you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, lady breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You want to do something about your style, then? Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sail on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. 
I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh, what is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. Velvet! You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special key. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please, this is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right. <laughs> okay. Luffy must be starving by now. I'd better hurry home. Hi, Ring. Wait, what's back here? <laughs> There's exclamation marks back here. One's a dog. Dog first. Or are they part of the same one? Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. <laughs> They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> they're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute. So I forgive them. Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest. They're fantastic. Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road. <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms. Would it make more money than hunting Fricklebores? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Lofi a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on. Think big. Dream, Velvet. Dream. Think big? Hmm. No, thanks. I want a peaceful life with Lofi and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. She's over the top. <laughs> but oh well. Let's get back home. Wait, where is home? Oh, look at the goodies! I don't think this is home. <laughs> this isn't home either. Where's home? Was this home? Nope. Where's home? I'm lost. I really thought it was this way somewhere. Is it up? Nope. Yeah, didn't I have to go through a little loading thing to get there? Actually. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> I finally found it. I 
Hi, Celica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the cake tomorrow. Oh, okay. Maybe that's something to try to remember. Train! Train always comes at inopportune moments. Uh, welcome home, Velvet. Luffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo! You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Lothi. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch, and I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. You'll get there, Lothi Set. It should only take... Oh, 20 years tops. It won't take me that long. Oh yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. Do I actually have to cook? I'm bad at cooking. In real life, anyway, that is. Is, this the, is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Two exclamation marks here. Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Loffy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. Oh, that's what they are. The day before Scarlet Night, Sis went prickle boar hunting on her own. She's almost as good a fighter as Arthur, so I know those prickle boars don't stand a chance. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. <laughs> Maybe she should try to be more ladylike. Little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know. But, but just for today? <laughs> fine, fine. 
I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Thank Arthur's you. special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? Can I already get it? Maybe. I got something up there. I got the garlic. There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Lofi, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A g girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's gotta be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've got to cook for you and Arthur since Salika is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what so... <coughs> <gasps> Luffy, what's wrong? Are you alright? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all, and it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you too. I want you to be happy, that's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you, too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah, that's what families do. Thanks, Luffy. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> <gasps> what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. Okay, so this episode's been going on for a really long time. I know I'm not really talking much in this one. But a lot of the Tales games do have like quite a few cutscenes and things like that where the characters actually talk themselves. But especially in the beginning. And I don't want to cut them off because it's telling the story and the story is like the best part. But anyway. So, but I'm going to end this episode of Tales of Berseria. That's what I'm going to say for now. <laughs> and if you enjoyed this episode, please hit that lovely like button and subscribe to see future Tales of Berseria. <laughs> episodes in the future and share other share the video so that others also may get a chance to enjoy the series as well and I will eventually have a playlist for future episodes coming up but this is the first episode so of course there isn't a playlist just yet but it will be in the description below when I get one set up and everything so if you're watching this after I have a few episodes come out you can go ahead and go catch up on the next episodes and I will have my Twitter information as well as my Snapchat and Instagram so you can go find me on there. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye bye.